bienvenidos. Welcome to stunning Grutas de Todo en Tango. Buenos dias, good morning country collectors. Today we are going on an adventure. We are leaving Mexico City and heading to Las Grutas de Tolentongo. It's going to be an amazing time. And the best part is we get to share it with our good friends, Ruben and Laura. <laughs> but before we get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any of our future adventures. Let's hit the road. Woo! Las Grutas de Tolentongo is located in the Mexican state of Hidalgo in the Mesquita Canyon, about a four hour drive north from Mexico City. Driving yourself is the best option, but you can also take a bus from Mexico City's North Terminal or join a tour. We found some really nice ones through Airbnb experiences. If you are driving yourself, we advise you to drive during the day while the sun is out as the roads do become a bit bumpy and you will encounter some sharp turns on the way down to Tolentongo. First stop, we gotta pick up some water shoes to keep those tootsies nice and comfy. All along the road on the way here, we saw a ton of these little stops where they're selling these shoes in the park. It is said to be a little rocky and slippery, so we're gonna grab some of these. They're 120 pesos. And if you wanna use your phone and capture some of these wonderful moments, you might wanna think about grabbing one of these little waterproof bags for it. I think I'm gonna go with green. That sounds good. It's nice and bright too. In case <laughs> I drop it, I'll be able to find it. <laughs> All right, that was a great stop, but let's get back on the road. We are about an hour away. We will see you there. And if you're driving yourself, <laughs> make sure to watch out for the topes. They sneak yeah. up on you. <laughs> yeah, they do. out and they had to stop the car as you can see they are sanitizing the cars and then we have to walk through this over here and also sanitize our bodies they don't call me mr. clean for nothing <laughs> sanitized and ready to get to those grutas <laughs> and the car smells a lot better too now <laughs> this is pretty epic check out this view of the canyon below Wow. And as you can see, this is why you don't want to drive in at night because the road is so steep and curvy. Safety first. Woohoo! Look, we've made it. Buenas. Buenas tardes, bienvenidos. Gracias. Gracias. Sí. Cuatro. Sí. Sí, cuatro para dos días. Para dos días. So Ruben is paying right now. It costs 150 pesos per person per day for the park and then 30 pesos for the car for parking. All right, now let's go find our accommodation. And we are heading down to Hotel Paraíso Escondido because we heard that was the best one. So from where you buy your tickets, you're going to come back out and go to the right. Here in the park, you can either stay in a hotel or camp. But the only thing is, you cannot make a reservation. It is all first come, first serve basis. So we are heading down here to see where we're going to stay for the night. Right up here, this looks like reception for Paraíso Escondido. Let's check it out. And the prices are affordable, starting at 850 pesos, going up to 1300. I love visual references, so I wanted to show you a map of the entire place here at Tolentongo. This is the hotel we are staying in right here, Paraíso Escondido, which is next to all of these pools here. You can see the zip line right here that takes you over to more hotels. Down here by the river is some camping. If you take this walkway over here, this is where the grutas are, the caves, the tunnel, and the waterfalls. And then, like I said, down here is that famous Blue River. And another big tip we have to tell you, they only take cash here in this entire place. Cash is king, so make sure to stock up on it before you arrive. How's it going? It's going great. They have two rooms with balconies for us Woo! for 900 pesos a night, and we are super excited. Yay! I'm not saying I didn't want to camp but I just think this will be a lot easier. You know what camping can be a little intense if you know what I mean. <laughs> but I think having a view off a balcony would just be so nice and you know I like to have my own bathroom so <laughs> yeah, that's true. also another bonus. Yes. Check out is at 12 from the hotel and check in is at 3 30. And one more thing if you are gonna stay overnight you have to book two day passes so the day you arrive you have to pay for and then the day after so 
it's just a good thing to know. All right, the car just pulled up. We need to grab our stuff, go out and check out our rooms. All right, this right here looks like the building we are staying in. It's really pretty. Look at all these cacti down there. They were just saying it's much bigger than they expected. And I think we're all thinking the same thing. We're in room number 74 and it looks like they have a little sanitation seal right here. I'm digging this. Let's check out our room. Yeah, COVID safe. Oh. Ooh. Wow. Holy moly. Can you believe this room was $45? This could fit like six people hey why don't you come and join us <laughs> but yeah this is so cool i am very very happy and we're so happy you are here sharing this with us <laughs> of course <laughs> two beds twice as much fun <laughs> and then let's check out the bathroom yeah, and the balcony wow <laughs> And look right there, there's people camping out there. There's a store right down there. This is awesome, this guy's barbecuing. Okay, we're gonna have a great weekend. Somebody's having a barbecue without me? <laughs> yeah, right? And right over there are the natural pools that are the main draw of this hotel right here and probably the main draw of this whole place. So a couple more things about the hotel. No pets are allowed and they are very basic. So there's no TV or Wi-Fi, which is great. I mean, just to disconnect. Who needs TV when you have a Heidi? Hey, and this view, right? That's true. The only cell service here is Telcel, so that is something to know. And if you're not going to stay in a hotel, like you saw, there is camping available. You can either bring your own tent and all your stuff and just camp for free, I believe. Awesome. Or they rent tents for two, four, or six people for 120 pesos, 150, and 200 pesos. They also have great stuff like towels, sleeping bags, charcoal, wood for fires, whatever you need, they've got it here. And in all the camping areas, they have bathrooms, dressing rooms, and hours available 24 hours a day. I am so excited. Let's go explore. We are changed and ready and right down here are the natural pools. This is the reason that we booked this hotel. So let's go check them out. Wow, this looks incredible. Right over there, there's Laura and Ruben smooching. Let's get in. Welcome to the pools. This is what you see on Instagram when you search Tolan Tongo, and they are more incredible in person. You can see there's all this calcification from the mineral water. This water right here is warm. There's springs on the mountain that come down and feed into these pools right here. The view of the canyon below is just, it's magnificent. That was great, but let's go explore some more. Come along. Whoa, the stairs have turned into like a little waterfall right here. This must be the coolest steps I've ever stepped down. <laughs> I know. So right down from the pools here, there is a tunnel we are going to go through. And look there, if you don't want to go through the tunnel, you can go across the suspension bridge over to the other pools. Let's do this. Wow, <laughs> that was a really cool little cave to walk through. That was awesome. There's a waterfall that comes down and the water is cold, but then inside you saw they have that warm pool. You saw me getting my little zen on my own. <laughs> but make sure to bring a towel because- It's chilly out here. It, when you come back out from that heat, it's like, whoo. It really is. Let's wrap this little <laughs> munchkin up and keep her warm. <laughs> Laura just came across the bridge right here and pointed out all these pools. This place is humongous. They have all different levels with different pools in them. The farther down you go, it seems like the cooler they get. We were getting a little chilly, so we made our way up and Ruben and Laura have found a nice warm one. So let's go hop in and join them. I hope it's not getting warmer because of that little girl up there. <laughs> <laughs> What an afternoon it has been. It's past five o'clock right now and we're getting a little cold and a lot of hungry. This is very true. So we're gonna have to leave you for the evening and go and grab some food, but make sure to stick around for tomorrow because we have got a lot of fun stuff planned. Yeah, today we only scratched the surface. Tomorrow we're gonna head to the caves, another tunnel, waterfalls, as well as the river and... They even have some zip lining we're gonna try to do and you know I'm a zipper. Yeah. So stick with us, we'll see you then.
Good morning and welcome to the sunrise in Tolentongo. It's amazing. It really is and there are not as many people as we were having yesterday towards the end of the day so it's almost all to ourselves. Yeah that's the best part of staying at Paraíso Escondido is being able to wake up and come down here. They said this morning that it opened at 6 30. It was a little bit chilly this morning so these warm pools are especially delightful. Yes also last night we went to dinner and it was great and super affordable and the staff was super friendly yeah and then we got to watch from our balcony the campers below making their fires and roasting marshmallows it was really cool definitely make the time to come down here and enjoy some time in Torantango What a beautiful morning. Nothing gets my appetite going like a good sunrise. So let's go walk across the bridge and grab some breakfast. Check it out from all the minerals coming down from the pools. This kind of reminds me of Herb El Agua in Oaxaca. It's just gorgeous. And if bridges like this put you in too much suspense, you can always walk around the top. There's a walkway that connects all the pools. All right, let's keep going. Wow, the water actually flows down from the pools here all the way to the river where you get this beautiful blue color. You're gonna have to wait till later to see that. And fair warning, there are a ton of steps here. A lot of walking. I'm not really sure if this is accessible to people who may have difficulties climbing. So unfortunately, just keep that in mind. And right down from where we stay is Restaurante Paraíso Escondido. So we're gonna go get some food here. Come along. We saved you a seat. <laughs> you know what Adam went with? Chilaquiles, baby. I went with the verde this morning. They look really good. They're a little soupy for my liking, but I'm gonna try them anyway. Let's jump in. <laughs> They're soupy, but they still have a great crunch and a whole lot of flavor. And I went with the huevos al gusto, which is eggs any way you want it. And I went with the mexicana, which is my favorite. They look absolutely delicious and they were 60 pesos or $3. If I get my eggs any way I want them, they definitely be Heidi. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Yeah, she's that full. was delicious. It was 270 pesos for the entire meal. Don't forget to tip your server. Let's get ready to go zip lining. As you can see, the sign behind me says that the hotel we were staying at is full. It's Saturday morning, 11 o'clock, and they're already full. So if you plan to come on the weekend, you have to get here early to go on a wait list to then check in later. I believe during the week, you'll have a lot more luck. So yeah, just keep that in mind when you are arriving. And just in case an emergency happens, they do have medical services here, so they have you covered. Another great thing is they rent lockers to keep your valuables in while you're going in the pools, just in case you're not spending the night here. And we just learned that they clean the pools on Wednesday, so I think the best day to get here would probably be Thursday. That's a really good tip. Before we go zip lining, look at this right here. They've got some pools. There's a slide that is only open from two until four, and a pool here with a jumping platform. I know someone who will do this for sure. I'm gonna show you how it's done, people. <laughs> All right. Cannonball! <laughs> it doesn't look that high, but it is. My butt is aching <laughs> just on the left side, and I did almost hit the bottom, so definitely be careful. All right, this has been fun, but I need to get to zipping. Let's, Let's go. go. And it looks like right over here is where the zip lining begins. <laughs> She's moving out. <laughs> So you have to weigh yourself to go on the zip line. The max is 93 kilos. Let's so he looked at the three of us and was like, you guys want to go zip lining? Um, you need to get on the scale. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, senor. Let's see if Adam can do it. I just ate breakfast. Scale. I just ate breakfast. <laughs> I'm taking all my clothes off. I'm taking off my shoes too, just in case. No, because you're going to wear them. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh oh. oh no. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh no, he's over. 
it's okay. The ladies can go and have fun. You'll meet us at the bottom? I'll meet you at the bottom. All right. I can't go with the ladies and I'm not a party pooper. So I'm going to take a shuttle down and meet them at Hotel Las Grutas, which is right at the bottom of the zip lines. If you want to walk, that's okay too, but it is a 30 minute walk. Yeah. So you have to weigh your options. I'm sure it's pretty, but I'm going to hop on a shuttle. Yeah, and the shuttles cost 10 pesos and they can take you down to the river. They'll take you all over the park here. Sounds great to me. Yeah, so if you don't have a car, that's another great option. You ladies better have an awesome time <laughs> and share it with everybody at home. We will. All right, we are heading down. Are you guys ready? I'm Here we go. Ready. See you later, babe. That was truly amazing. <laughs> Gracias. Cool. And look right here, we're already clipped on to the next one. One right after the other! Woo! We're coming in! And this is the third one right here. We are doing four today for 200 pesos or $10. Bye. <laughs> Woo, and we hit the side here. And I wish Adam could do this. Too many chilaquiles, babe. <laughs> but I'm having fun for the both of us. Oh, and here comes Laura. Woo! Was that insane or what? Oh, that was really intense, actually. <laughs> So high. I know. That one was 690 meters. That one I was not ready for. It, it was actually really high. I know. I thought it was going to be kind of like a little dinky one for kids. But yeah. that third one yeah. was actually really fast. It was intense. Yeah, my mouth is like so you, dry. You're like, yeah. come in and you're going so fast and you don't think they're going to stop you. Yeah. <laughs> you think you're just going to hit that pad and be like. <laughs> yeah, squash like a bug. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so we are heading over now to our fourth line. You got this, Barbie. <laughs> All right, last one. Here we go. That was incredible. We definitely recommend it. I believe you have to be 10 years old and yes. older. So that's another reason Adam couldn't come. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, when you're here, definitely do the zip lining. All right, let's head to the caves. So when you get done with the zip line, it is gonna drop you here at the Hotel La Gruta. So we just gotta find Adam. He's not great with direction, but hopefully he's around here somewhere. Adam. Hey, and look who made it. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it probably wasn't as much fun as what you guys had, but it was a nice little ride. I was in there with a family of nine. And they were all just chatting away, eating some food. It they was took nice. you under their wing. They did. They did. They made sure I knew where I was and everything was safe. All right, let's head to the cave. Oh, that sounds great. Wow, and check out this view. Holy moly. Look at that river. Isn't that incredible? We'll go down there in just a little bit. like we've made it down here as you can see down here at the grutas it is very busy over here they do have lockers to rent which are 100 pesos that's five dollars you can put all your stuff in there because when you go into the grutas you're gonna be get completely wet so this is a good place to store your dry goods anybody want a beer we got a few to spare <laughs> <laughs> all right let's head to the grutas so right here is the entrance and you can see the first cascade right here. Absolutely beautiful. How impressive this is, the water running down from the cascades. 
I believe the caves are right back here. Looks like everyone just ties up their towels, swimsuits, and hats before they head up to the grutas. You can see there's a lot going on here. Behind me is the tunnel. You can head into it. I believe it is pitch black though, so you're gonna wanna bring a flashlight. Below it is the cave. This is where all the hot water originates, and then it mixes with the waterfalls and flows down into the river. We're gonna start with the tunnel right here, so come with us. Woo, here we go. This is so exciting. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be a little cold because it's from the waterfall. I got my light though, don't worry. My feet are hot, but it's freezing coming down. <laughs> This looks unreal. It's like Rivendell in Lord of the Rings, like some sort of fairy tale. So incredible. And then I'm speechless. There's a waterfall over here. This is something you have got to do. Come during the week when there's less people, it might be a little more magical, but right now, So that was absolutely incredible, but we all agree. If we came back, it would be on, on a, a weekday. weekday. Yes, because it is so crowded. And when you're done with your locker, make sure to turn in your key to get your 50 peso deposit. So you need to bring 150 pesos if you want to rent a locker. And when you're over here by the Grutas, they have some restaurants here. You can get some food, some drinks, maybe even a michelada. Just across the river over here, people are camping and they have some natural pools. We're gonna cross over on this bridge right here and go check it out. Come with us. So we came down here to cross this bridge and go check out the campsites over there, but they told us at the other side we were gonna have to pay 100 pesos, which is $5, because it is not a part of Las Frutas de Tolentongo. It is a different place, so just know that when you come here, I mean, it might be worth it to check it out or even camp over there for the time that you're staying. We got one last stop, and it's gonna be a special one. We're heading down to the river, just around the river bend. <laughs> come along. Check this out. And it's really nice because they have these dividers here in the river so you don't get pushed down by the current. Isn't this just stunning down here? I'm actually blown away. It is so cool. Everyone's just hanging out, relaxing in the water and having a good time. So we thought it'd be a great time to thank our newest patrons. Gary. Stacy and Drew. Thank you so much for your contributions. We love having you a part of our community. We couldn't do this without you. It's so true. You even helped to make today possible to have all this fun so we can share it with everyone. So muchas, muchas gracias from the bottom of our hearts. Yes, and if you would like to join our community, we will put the link in the description below. All right, let's go have some more fun. And it looks like down here is like the party camping spot. It's my kind of camping. I bet they were going off last night. What I love so much is that they rent out the barbecues here and the charcoal, so everyone's grilling something up. It smells so good. We talk about Mexico hospitality and that feeling of family. They literally squeeze every single tent in as close as they can so everyone can be together. At home we have these huge sites so you have all this space, but here people are more of a community and they're just having a great time and we love it. Yeah, there's room for everyone. And then right down here, this is the hotel. They also have medical services as well. So they've got it all. Just in case, safety first, people. They've also got some restaurants down here by the river. These people are having a great time. <laughs> Micheladas. Claro, claro. Woohoo! <laughs> 
What is this, the Charlie Brown Christmas tree? <laughs> yeah, maybe they put one ornament on it <laughs> for Christmas. Right here, here's the ornament. <laughs> and we were wondering about where people would charge their stuff while they're camping, but they actually have a charging station right outside the Tienda with 20 or 30 individual places to plug your stuff in. That's really cool. Don't have a line to dry your clothes? Use an entire tree. <laughs> it's perfect. And it probably waters the tree. <laughs> probably does. Adam, I found some shade for you. Oh, perfect. It's an umbrella tree. <laughs> <laughs> and you can see these guys out here, they rent tables and chairs, mattresses, sleeping bags, tents, whatever you need to camp, they have it. This park is gargantuan. There's a lot of walking to be done, but they have things like that that will take you around for 80 pesos and drop you off wherever you need to go. They also have the collectivas I took before for 10 pesos that'll take you around. Or if you weigh less than 93 kilos, you can zip down here too. <laughs> it seems like the farther you come down from the caves or grutas where we were before, the less people there are. We found a nice little peaceful place here. I think that's Laura right there enjoying <laughs> yeah. the water. And if you're wondering why it's this blue color, it's because the minerals from the limestone are actually melting away because of the warm water and creating this unique blue. I dig it and it's super cool. Yeah, it's simply beautiful. Unfortunately, it is that time of the day. We have to say goodbye to you. It makes me sad, friends, but we want to go hop in this river, so sorry. Yeah, we hope you enjoyed this video. Honestly, this entire place has blown our minds. And it's huge. Massive. The pictures do not do it justice. I was like, for the entire day. Yeah, so before we go, just a couple things. Remember, cash is king. You have got to bring enough for whatever you want while you're here, yes. so don't shortchange yourself. Yes. Also, water shoes. Before we came, I'm like, I don't need water shoes. Yes. You need water shoes. My feet are so much happier now because they would be torn up if I didn't have them. If you want to come during the week, obviously there's less people. On the weekends, it's going to be more rowdy. I think especially down by the river here, if you're camping, if you want to stay in a hotel on the weekend, get there early early because they sell out. So yeah, and if you want to camp and you have all your stuff, it's absolutely free. We've like all the so pricing cool. here has so been cool. so affordable, which we really enjoy and I just think that's great. We really appreciate you coming along with us today because yes. it would have been nowhere near as much fun if you hadn't been here to share it with us. Yes, if you enjoyed this video, please give us a big thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to ling 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 the bell. We'll see you next time. Adios.